back. Well, two oil giants have agreed on an acquisition deal. This deal between two Houston based companies is an all stock transaction valued at more than $17 billion. Conoco Phillips says the deal adds complementary properties to its existing U.S. portfolio, including those here in Texas. So this marks the latest merger in an industry that has seen several in the past year. The acquisition still needs approval from shareholders, but it is expected to close by the end of the year. Joining me tonight to give us some more insight into this merger is energy analyst Andy Lipow. Andy, thank you so much as always. So what does this really mean for the city of Houston in terms of the economy? Well, thanks for having me. For two Houston-based companies, what we would expect is a consolidation unfortunately means a loss of some job positions. But on the other hand, it is going to cement Houston as the energy capital of the United States, especially as we've seen Exxon buying Pioneer. That actually moves some jobs down from Dallas. Mm -hmm. We saw Chevron is buying uh, Hess. That would move some more jobs from New York down to the Houston area. So as far as our base economy and the energy business goes, this is more good news cementing Houston's reputation. What does this say about the oil industry as a whole? Because like you mentioned, there's been a couple of mergers taking place. Well, it says that the oil industry needs to get more efficient and consolidation is one way to do it. In addition, when they look around the world and they're seeking more reserves, consolidation is a way of buying reserves at a less expensive way compared to drilling more wells in the ground, especially in the offshore Gulf of Mexico when it's quite expensive. Hmm, that is a great point. So now and a lot of this conversation happening on a very high level, but for the everyday driver, you and me, what does this mean here for our gas prices? Well, for the everyday driver, these mergers and acquisitions that we've seen over the decades really do not impact gasoline prices. The gasoline market is worldwide. The U.S. is part of that. So you shouldn't expect to see gasoline prices go up or down because of this merger. Mm -hmm. Then that's good stuff. That's good for us to know as we head into those summer months. And then lastly here tonight, um, with this merger taking place, what has to happen before it's all said and done? Because there's a couple mergers here still on the table. Well, the Federal Trade Commission is very concerned about all this consolidation that we're seeing, especially for production in Texas. So we can expect that the reviews through the government agencies are going to get more and more uh, rigorous to make sure that we don't have a concentration of production in just a few hands. Mm -hmm. What I would point out is Texas is now producing over five and a half million barrels a day of crude oil. You compare that to 20 years ago, that was more than the nation was producing in total. Hmm. So you can kind of see that it's very important for Texas and especially Houston as these mergers and consolidations occur. Andy Lippow, always a great resource for us here at the station. We certainly appreciate your insight. Thank Thanks you very so much. much.